Radial artery. The radial artery is a terminal branch of the brachial artery. Course. It arises in the cubital fossa at the level of the radial neck. It descends towards the wrist with a lateral convexity. It first lies beneath the brachioradialis. Near the wrist, it is subcutaneous and lies on the anterior surface of the lower part of the radius. Then, it winds around the lateral side of the wrist to reach the anatomical snuff box on the posterior aspect of the hand. After passing over the dorsal aspect of the base of the thumb, the radial artery re-enters the palmar side of the hand between the two heads of the first dorsal interosseous muscle. Then, in the palm, it passes between the two heads of the adductor pollicis and continues as the deep palmar arch, which anastomoses with the deep branch of the ulnar artery. Relations Anteriorly, the upper part is overlapped by the brachioradialis and the lower part by skin and superficial fascia. Posteriorly, it is related from above downwards to the biceps tendon, supinator, pronator teres, and flexor digitorum superficialis. Branches in the forearm. The radial artery gives off muscular branches to the muscles on the lateral aspect of the forearm. Radial recurrent artery. It arises in the cubital fossa, ascends and anastomoses with the anterior descending branch of the profunda brachii artery. Palmar carpal branch. It anastomoses with the ulnar palmar carpal branch to form the palmar carpal arch. Dorsal carpal branch, anastomoses with the ulnar dorsal carpal branch to form the dorsal carpal arch. Superficial palmar branch, passes superficial to the flexor retinaculum and joins with the ulnar artery to form the superficial palmar arch. First dorsal metacarpal artery, principus pollicis artery. Arteria radialis indices. The first branch of the radial artery within the hand is the dorsal carpal artery, which then gives off multiple dorsal metacarpal arteries. The dorsal metacarpal arteries become dorsal digital arteries within the fingers. The deep palmar arch gives off the radial indices and principus pollicis arteries. Clinical correlation. Examination of the radial pulse. The arterial pulse is usually felt on the radial side of the wrist. Gentle pressure may be needed to feel the pulsations of the artery. The radial artery lies subcutaneously at the wrist, hence can be palpated easily. Volkmann's ischemic contracture. This is also known as ischemic compartment syndrome. This results from a sustained lack of blood supply to the muscles of the forearm causing ischemic necrosis and fibrosis of the muscles. The fibrosis of the forearm flexor tendons leads to permanent shortening of the associated muscles resulting in a flexor deformity at the wrist. This can be caused due to crush injury, fractures of the radius or ulna, burns, or animal bites. Clinical manifestations Decrease in sensation, skin paleness, muscle weakness, muscle wasting or atrophy, and deformity of the wrist, claw-like appearance.